Well, hey guys, I found some high quality 3mm LEDs you might be interested in. I like 3mm LEDs because they're still a through hole component, so they're easy to use, and they are pretty small, so they can fit in tight spaces. Well, these are TT Electronics slash Optech Technology. Part number is OVLB X4C7. X would be the color. So in this case, it's G for green. If they were blue, it would be B, R for red, and so on and so forth. Found these at DigiKey. I checked Mouser. They showed them, but as a uh, non stocked item. So at least here in the US, DigiKey is probably the, the uh, go to people to get these from. Well, if you follow my channel, you remember a couple videos ago I did some Chinese 3mm LEDs I bought. You know, had 10 different colors. But those had some issues. Yeah, they work and everything like that. They're very cheap, but they have some problems. Well, shining on the wall here are those Chinese LEDs, the uh, warm white ones. Notice the one on the left is much dimmer. Well, what I did is I ran it for one month at 18 milliamps continuous. That's about 700 and some hours. And look how much it has dimmed. I don't know if the camera shows it, but that is severely dimmed. They're rated at 20 milliamps, but you know I ran it at 18, and it, it didn't even last a thousand hours. I did say in the video that you should run them at um, 15, 10 to 15 milliamps would give you more time, but I would say you're probably safer to run them more like 10 milliamps or less because if you run them continuously they're just not going to last very long and that's pretty typical with Chinese stuff that they just don't last some other issues with these Chinese LEDs is that the red and the yellow ones just weren't that bright compared to the green and blue also I find them to be quite static sensitive where LEDs like the Cree are much more static resistive. You know, one little jolt and it could blow the LED out. Where Crees and these will be more hardened against static electricity damage. These Optech LEDs come in five colors. Blue, red, yellow, and green, and cool white. Okay. I'll put some on the board here and go shine them at the wall and do some brightness comparisons. On the left is the Chinese LED. On the right, the Optech. No contest. The Optech is just much brighter. Seems to be more of an amber color though. But it's, you know, just no contest. And of course, Optech on the right again, and wow, it's just no contest. When I get too close, it blows out the sensor and looks kind of yellowish, but that's because it's just so bright. Optech is on the right again, and wow. It does seem like they're close. However, you have to consider that the Optech LED is throwing a much wider beam. There's just a much more amount of light in that area. So yeah, I thought they're going to be closer, but pretty much stops the Chinese LED as well. Very nice beam as well with the green. The Chinese is kind of just a mess. Very splotchy beam. Quite a bit harder to discern a winner here. 
because the uh, Chinese is brighter with a tighter beam and the Optech is a much wider beam which is more diffuse though you know, when you get closer yeah, it's still hard to tell it's almost neck and neck so as far as blues go they're they're pretty close however I know the uh, the Chinese blue will fade like I said before so as far as brightness goes I would consider this a tie and now white they do appear similar, maybe an edge to the Optech. The weird thing is though, the camera makes them look both bluish white color. And to the naked eye, the Optech looks slightly warmer. It's more like a, it's hard to describe, it's more like a uh, better color rendering. So what about price? Well, you know the old saying, you get what you pay for. These are not going to be as cheap as the Chinese LEDs. However, you know, they're not that bad. The yellow and red are 20 cents each. The green and blue are around 34, 35 or so. I think they had varying prices, but it's 30 some cents each. The white one is 40 cents each. Yeah, a little steep for a white LED, you know, a small 3 millimeter type LED these days, but again, I mean, it's going to be good quality and you get what you pay for. Well, that wraps up this review. Thanks for watching.